Hello everyone! So it's been a while since I showed you a new art box, so today I want to take a look at the Art Tart box, which is an art supply subscription box with a hint of stationery, to use their own words. What I like about this box so far is that it seems like it is real paint on the outside. It is pretty cool if it's handmade. So stay tuned until after the unboxing when I will use the supplies to draw something and let you guys know what I think about this box. So when we open it, we can see it's Inktober. Inktober never ends, guys. This is the October box, so I bet there is a bunch of ink supplies in there. On the other side, there is a list of the supplies in the box, which I never look at beforehand because I don't want to spoil the surprise for me. So balloons seems to be a theme in this box. I would never dare to go up in a hot air balloon, I'm terrified of heights. But then on the other hand, I would sort of want to go skydiving. So I guess that's the question of the day. If there is something you would want to do but you are terrified of it, let me know in the comments below. That's a fun and easy question to answer. Also let me know if you have ever been up with a hot air balloon. So we have some sort of situation here with pens and paper worms poking out in all directions. I must say it is quite original and I love the purple and the yellow together. Alright, so there is a bunch of stuff in here, so let's start with this mystery box. It is a painting palette necklace, it is a gift from Art Tart, celebrating their 6 month anniversary, so congratulations! And in this mystery envelope we have a greeting card, I like this, it is really cute! This I'm quite excited about actually, it is blue ink from Winsor & Newton, I love their ink and it looks like a really beautiful warm blue color. A hot air balloon ruler bookmark, this is super adorable and I love the combination of ruler and bookmark, you never know when you need to measure something when reading. A sharpie ultra fine point pen, a Prismacolor 0.5 fine liner. A Sakura Jelly Roll gel pen in a golden metallic color. I have one of these and I really like it. An Art Tart graphite pencil. Sepia colored charcoal pencil from Koi Noor. And one of my favorites, a pilot color in a mechanical pencil with colored lead. A handmade Japanese weasel brush pen. Prismacolor Magic Rub Eraser, ooh that sounds exciting! And lastly some cute stickers and sweets. Alright, so there are quite a few things inside this box, I'm just gonna try them out real quick before making the real art. It looks like the brush did lose a few hairs while I was using it, but it also gave very nice and interesting lines. The eraser was very, very dusty and I don't really like that, but when I read about it, it said it could erase India ink, so perhaps that's why it's magic. The two fineliners look quite similar to each other, but both of them seem very pigmented. The charcoal pencil also looks very pigmented, but it's also very smudgy, as charcoal usually is. This box is $25 a month and they do ship worldwide. It seems like it is free shipping to the US, $5 to Canada and about $9 to $10 to the rest of the world, which is kind of pricey. Also, I am not sponsored, just so you know, I just think it's fun testing out new art supplies. I will leave a link to their website in the description box below so you can check it out yourself if you want to. So what I first did was sketching this overly cute, kind of creepy deer with the red pilot mechanical pencil. And this is a really good pencil for sketching that is easy to erase, but it wasn't very easy to erase with this Prismacolor eraser. I am honestly quite picky with my erasers and I want them to be easy to erase with. And I also want them to be dust free because I make a lot of mistakes and I don't want these eraser crumbs to be everywhere.
So when I tried out the fine liners before, I noticed that the Prismacolor pen smudged like crazy. I don't know if it is the paper I'm using or if it's just smudgy in general, but I ended up using the Sharpie pen for the line art instead. Even if I prefer the feeling of the Prismacolor pen, the Prismacolor products are not doing very well today. But I like the Sharpie pen, it gave very crisp and pigmented lines. The only problem I have with this is that it's alcohol based and I do prefer water water-based fine liners since they are easier to make cross-hatching with and you have more control over the line thickness since the alcohol ink tend to spread more on the paper. I really love this ink and this is the first time I'm working with blue ink and it isn't super special or different from other colored ink but it is nice with a change. I like to add water to the paper first and then dip the ink in it and watch it spread in the water. It gives really nice and interesting patterns and textures. I also like that you can use the ink as it is and get this darker color or mix it with water and get ink wash for even lighter shades so you can really really do a lot with one color of ink only. The paintbrush was actually very nice to paint with, even if it is quite soft. I guess it is some sort of calligraphy brush, but it worked just fine to paint with like this too. And it didn't lose any more hair when I used it, so I guess it is just something it does in the beginning, perhaps. I didn't really know what to make with a charcoal pencil, I don't really think it fits with this painting, but I decided to use it under the gel pen on the flowers to create some sort of shading perhaps. So I added a bit of the charcoal to the flowers and then I painted over them with water, which seems like a weird thing to do perhaps, but I noticed that if you put water on graphite or charcoal and such, it kind of works as a fixative. The charcoal didn't smudge after I painted over it with water. Water. And the reason I did that was so that the gel pen wouldn't clog up from the charcoal when I drew over it. I really love the gold gel pen, it was so smooth to draw with and it looks so good with the blue. I don't know if it made that much difference using the charcoal underneath, but at least I tried it. You have to experiment a little sometimes. So I had a lot of fun with this box, I love the ink and I will definitely use the bookmark when I have more time reading during Christmas. I didn't care that much for the eraser to be honest, it was very dusty and I think they could have added more ink brushes or such since it was Inktober themed and not having two similar fine liners. But I did enjoy it and it is good quality art supplies. Art tart are still quite new so I'm sure they are still testing things out to see what works or not. I I like the hint of stationery, but I would actually like even more stationery, like notebooks and stuff, it would have been so cool. So if you think this box looks interesting, go check it out on their website and order one if you want to. It is a really good way of finding out about and trying out new art supplies. Thanks Art Tart for sending me this to play with. I like that the red pencil kind of mixes with the blue so that the ink looks a bit purple in some spots. It has a bit of a wintry feeling to it with the blue and the gold and I love it. I hope you liked this drawing and this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more art and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!